Before we get into the video guys, I am giving away 11,800 Apex coins. To be in with a chance of win them, make sure you are subbed to this channel and have that bell notification button turned on. Drop a like on the video and leave a comment down below. More details are in the video description people. What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I bring you another Apex Legends video and today guys I bring you new leaked information regarding the next legend coming to the game and that is Octane as well as a leak on all his abilities and so much more. But before we go any further guys if you do enjoy the video and would like to show your support you can by hitting that like button. If you are new around here and enjoy daily Apex Legend videos be sure to subscribe. Right. So over the past few weeks we have seen many leaks regarding certain legends coming through the game. In total I believe around 10 or 11 names have been data mined and dropped. But today guys we actually have some legit information with images of the next legend I believe coming through the game which is Octane. Now last week I covered this guy in a video talking about his leaked audio files and data files. They suggested he had some kind of stim pack ability and that's right, he does. Now I ain't going to showcase what he looks like in this video for obvious reasons, but what I can tell you guys is this Octane guy is half robot, half human by the looks of it. And I can pretty much say this with confidence that this is the guy we see at the end of the Battle Pass trailer on the left hand side. This is Octane. So with us getting to see what he looks like via this leak, we also get to see his abilities too. His passive ability to his ultimate. His passive ability is called the Swift Ment. While not taking damage, Octane restores health over time. Pretty cool. Tactical ability, Adrenaline Junkie. Move 30% faster for 8 seconds, cost 10% health, immune to slows while active. Ultimate ability is called launch pad, deployable jump pad that catapults users through the air. And there we have it people, to be honest it sounds already like he will be a fan favourite. I can see many people loving that jump pad much like in Fortnite, the jump pad was something many folks enjoyed playing about with. Not only that, the jump pad gives you great means of escaping death or even launching straight into it. His tactical ability allows you to move quicker for 30 seconds, which sounds very useful indeed. I mean I know 30% doesn't seem like a lot, but trust me guys when every legend in the game moves at the exact same default speed, being able to move Move basically a third quicker for eight seconds will feel a ton faster. It also immunes to slows while active. I'm guessing this means things like the bombarder and ultimate or gas traps and so forth which slow you down. You'll be immune to them while in this tactical ability the adrenaline junkie but we will see. And his passive ability swift mend allows you to heal over time. Now I'm pretty sure this won't be OP, I'm guessing it won't recover your health that quick but it's still a great great passive ability and I look forward to learn more about it. But yeah guys this is Octane, if you want to see what he looks like you'll find an image of him linked within the video description which showcases him and his abilities. That's up on my Twitter right now, so go check it out. You may as well follow me while you are there, people. But yeah, guys, this is Octane. Although not confirmed yet by Respawn, I pretty much guarantee he will be the next legend to come to the game. If any more information drops, I will have you covered right here on my channel as per usual. On that note, guys, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really does help out. If you are new around here and enjoy daily Apex Legend videos, like news, leaks, top five gameplays, reviews, just about everything, make sure you subscribe and if you never want to miss a video I upload you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button guys thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully I will see you on that next one